It is sad and unfortunate that Joyce Teorai Ropamujuru has, has decided to take the unprecedented decision of purportedly expelling founding elders Comrade Jim Tasa, R.I.G. Gumbo, Comrade Baskiti, Comrade uh, M.T.A. Mteso, Comrade Margaret Dongo, the head of the women's wing, Comrade Kandemire, head of the youth wing, among others from the party. We formed the Zimbabwe people uh, first, since first, and which we appointed uh, to lead. We are not surprised by a irrational and a emotional decision purporting to have us expelled. What we do not understand is that Comrade Mujuru would take such a, a drastic measure while we were in the process of trying to resolve challenges facing the party. As an example, we were dealing with the issue of implementing the decision of the theory committee to reassign Tsikamai Mavairi from the national mobilization for a number of reasons. In fact, at the time she held the press conference, we were waiting for her at the party offices here, and she had told us that we would wait for her since she was at the tumor center. The purpose of the meeting was to resolve these challenges, only to be surprised that she was holding a press conference at the house, not at the party offices, purportedly to, to expel us. I'm not going to go into details about uh, the implementation of the Mavai issue, what it has meant to the party. It may be really the issue which may destroy the party. Uh, needless to say, this is not in line with the draft ZMPF constitution. The values of the party. She has no right to expel us. Kumar Mijuru was in fact appointed by us, the founders of the party, to lead the party as an interim president. It was, most of you here, journalists, are aware of it. It was Kumar Mijuru and myself who sat down with other colleagues, consulted other leaders, and said, what should we do after we had been uh, fired from Ghana-PF? And uh, we decided that she should take over. One, she was vice president. Second, she was young. And we always said we want young people to take over this party. We are no longer interested. We have been in this thing for a long time. So we want other people to take over. Further to that, it was agreed as one of our founding principles that we do not believe in expelling people as what was happening uh, to the ruling party. But we can relieve them of their position if they demonstrate incompetence, ineffectiveness, and irresponsibility as we, as we did with the Gamma Mavai. We are fully aware that the decision the Guru made was based on advice from folks, relatives, Tenzo's, corrupt cronies, some of whom are fugitive from justice. However, as a democratic party, we shall, we shall be consulting the party with regards to the decision she has taken to reportedly uh, uh, expel us. We want to make it clear 
that the challenges we have are internal party challenges as such they have to be resolved internally we cannot resolve these problems by expelling people so we want to assure you uh, that uh, our intention has never been to do our own our intention was to correct the ills in the party, the shortcomings of the party. And whatever meetings we held, they were done in order to correct the situation. But we understand there's been a misinterpretation of what we have done, what we're doing. What shocks, what sort of shocks us is that uh, The same things that are being said by men do are the same things which are said by Zanupi trying to mount a coup against us. Now, really, is that the way to do it? We want to inform the people of Zimbabwe. We want to inform the people of Zimbabwe and the party membership in the stakeholders that the party remains strong and intact. It is our hope that those who want to change in Zimbabwe should continue to support the cause of Zimbabwe people first. That is the end of the story. <laughs>